In this video, I want to look at defining ratios using what's known as the variable parts perspective. So recipes are sometimes described in terms of parts, like mixing one part rice with two parts water, or one part cement with two parts sand and four parts gravel. So in these cases, one part could be any size we like. It could be the size of a small container if we only need a little. It could be the size of a large container if we need a lot. So this is the second idea of the definition of ratio. So I'm going to go back to the example I was considering in the previous video and deal with three cups of grape juice and five cups of peach. Well, I could also think of the original mixture as three parts grape juice and five parts peach juice. And then if I change the size of each part from one cup to like four cups, then the new mixture still follows in the same overall recipe. And so we'll have the same flavor and color. So in my picture here, I have my mixture that has one cup in one part. So that I would have three cups of grape juice and five cups of peach juice. In my picture here on the right, I have four cups in one part. So we still have one, two, three parts grape juice and one, two, three, four, five parts peach juice. And we could also change the size of each part to something like a half a cup or any other number of cups. And if we did that, we would end up needing 3n cups of grape and 5n cups of peach, where n is any positive number of cups. So in general, let's suppose a and b are positive numbers. If we were to have a ratio a to b, that means we have a times n units of the first quantity and b times n units of the second quantity, where n is our total number of units, so the total amount per part. And we're once again using our definition a and b, this time, are the number of groups, and n is the number of units per group. So we know how many groups we need of each, and then how many units we have per group. And with our variable parts perspective, we think of the number of parts for the quantities as fixed and we vary the size of the parts to get the varying quantities in the same ratios. We can still use things like our ratio table to help organize and we can also use what's known as a strip diagram. For our ratio table, instead of having a column for the number of batches, we look at the number of cups per part. We have one cup per part then we have three cups of grape and five cups of peach. We have two cups per part. We have two times three cups of grape, two times five cups of peach. Three would give me three times three cups of grapes, three times, three, three times five cups of peach. And in general, if we have N, we would do three N and five N. Here's my strip diagram. I know I need three parts of grape for every five parts of peach, and we can write our numbers on here. So for instance, if I know I have four cups per part, I could write a four on each, and that would give me a total of 12 cups of grape juice. I could write a four on each of these, and we could see that would give me a total of 20 cups of peach juice. 